client work on her upper back along the paraspinals, paraspinal musculature, sometimes it's called erector spinae. These big long lines <clears throat> along the spine are what we think of as the loin or tender loin in animals, backstrap, deer. These muscles uh, contract and work to try to help us walk upright. You can see that just a gentle finger pressure, nothing extreme, just along the spine is really nice. I'm not pressing on the spine itself and just to the side, particularly along the shoulder blades. Many people with upper back problems are going to have a lot of tension here. So I'm able to apply some finger pressure. Then I'm going to come up and with the pad of my thumb, I'm going to apply some gentle pressure along one side. And then, the opposite side, I'm going to use the broad of the heel of my hand. So again, not pressing on the spine, just over. And then I'll switch sides. You can always straddle the client this way. This is an easy way to get leverage and have your body above the client so that I'm working with my hands less and using my body weight. You can see the bend in my knee and how my pelvic bowl is coming with me. You're working from Hara, from Dantian. And again, thumb one side or the other. Just helps open along the upper back. Feels wonderful to the receiver. If you have the receiver's arms to the side, you can always hug into one hip with your leg and make contact. You can press along both sides. Again, flats, no extreme pressure, not the points of my thumbs. You can always have the receiver take a big in breath, then exhale with them and lean. Big in breath again. Exhale and lean in. Either side of the spine, right into the erector spinae. Big in breath. Exhale and lean. And side to side. With the palm. Around the shoulder blades. You can start to find the border of the shoulder blade itself. If it feels a little tight, like it doesn't want to let you slide under, you can always lift the arm. Gently finding what the range of motion is like. You don't want to pull as to put pressure on the shoulder joint. But once you've found a comfortable range of motion, you can secure them with your leg. So there's no pressure. I'm not using my leg to push. I'm just holding them in place. Then my hands can gently begin pressing underneath the shoulder blade on one side. You can press again along the spine. Very effective use of body weight, very effective use of pressure. Time massage is the best body work I've ever had, and I've been looking for more in the past 10 years. I'm going to needle to the other side. Again, a little pressure. If you're trying to get around the shoulder blade, you can always start this way, then arm behind again. Just find what the range of motion is like. You don't want to torque the shoulder joint. That looks fairly comfortable. She's got a little bit of resistance, but not too much. Then my fingertips can gently slide underneath the shoulder blade. Can always come in with the side of my hand as well. If I want to glide in and under. You can see that I'm just going right underneath the shoulder blade, just using my other hand for additional stability. And finger pressure. Right along the spine. Your clients are going to love this. And usually, I would finish. You can kneel on either side. You can spot low. Just a little palm pressure. Contact with the upper back, either side of the spine. And if you want stabilizing, 
you can see that I'm leaning and my knees are essentially coming in with me to put pressure into the upper back. Head to climb, take a big in breath. And exhale. Lean in. And I'll see you again soon on robertgardnerwellness.com.